you want to be a millionaire or have like a really nice lavish mansion up on top of the hill with like 12, 15 cars, well, make no mistake about it. There's, there's nothing wrong with that type of thing. But the Bible says that it's the love of money that leads to all sorts of evil. First Timothy verse 10, for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. <clears throat> it is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. Having material possessions or having a job that pays really great money, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, God tells us to go out and work. It tells us that a lazy man won't prosper. So there's nothing wrong with like having a really good job, a job that pays a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's actually encouraged. The Bible tells us that we are to have an abundance of stuff so that way we can help others. If you got a lot of money, donate some. If you got a lot of food, give some away. If you got a lot of clothing, give it to the less fortunate. There's nothing wrong with having an abundance, but the abundance isn't supposed to be spent on ourselves. After a certain limit, you guys, you, you know how it is. You probably got clothes in your closet right now that you ain't worn in a year, maybe six months. You got food that's been sitting in your cabinet, like canned goods and stuff that you'll never eat. You probably throw food away in your refrigerator because it goes bad because you don't eat leftovers. I'm guilty of that myself. You know, um, it's the it's the desire to be rich where the sin comes in. Understand that being rich is not a sin. But when you desire more and more and more and more, that's when the sin comes in because it's never going to be enough. Right. And then that leads to the love of more money and more money. And then eventually you may do something that compromises your integrity. You may even wander away from the faith all through scripture. There is people that have been false teachers of the word simply for monetary gain. If you look back into the Bible where Simon the sorcerer saw Peter and John with the power of the Holy Spirit, he tried to buy that from them so he can use it for monetary gain. Because back then, if you could perform miracle signs and wonders, people would probably come to you with money trying to get a blessing from you. And Simon wanted to monetize this and Peter called him out on it, you know, so the the love of money will cause you to do things that are not biblical or will cause you to chase after things of the world and may cause you to even fall away so um i want to give you guys you know this um uh this example from my life right where i i could have done something like that too just the other day i got an email um from a company that i was previously working with to do two paid videos for youtube but I had just stopped using the product, like literally two days before that I had just stopped using the product and started using another product. And I could have been like, oh, yeah, come on, I'll do the two videos because the product is great. The product is really worth me doing a video over. And in fact, I'm actually going to go back to using the product that the person was trying to pay me for. But I'm currently not using the product. So when they told me they wanted to pay me to do two videos, I could have been like, all right, yeah, let's do it. But would that be honest? Would that be a man of integrity? Would it be okay to, to promote this product? Yes. But since I'm currently not using the product, the Holy Spirit convicted me and told me I shouldn't do it. Does everyone have the same conviction? Probably not. At the end of the day, I'm not going to condemn anyone or, or talk down on anyone that would do that. But if I'm currently not using the product or if I don't believe in the product, I'm not going to promote it. And so... I could have went down that road and been like, yeah, give me the money, you know, but I'm just trying to do the right thing and I'm trying to have integrity and I'm trying to be a man of God that honors the Lord and all that I do. And I don't feel like taking this paid sponsorship for a product I'm not using would have been honoring the Lord, even if I am going back to that product. So I want to encourage you guys out there. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going to college, getting a good education or starting a, a company up that becomes really successful. Those are, those are those are all godly things, right? Is what do you do with the excess? Do you just line it up in your bank account? Do you go buy car after car after car? Well, look, guys, if you got more than two cars, it's difficult to drive them. I have two cars. I don't even drive both of them. And they're not special cars either. It's a 2001 Chevy Impala and a 2006 Honda Odyssey. Buckets, guys. And they're, they're, they're not really, really awesome, you know, condition either. They're just cars that get me around, right? But if you have like the new McLaren, you got the new Bugatti, you got the new Ferrari, what do you need a fourth car for? Those are already houses on wheels. Check your heart posture. 
If you desire those things, check your heart posture. A Honda, a Honda Civic will get you around just as fine as a Bugatti will. Now, if you get to the point to where you got that kind of money, I would really consider that you start some type of um, foundation to help people in some sort of way or another. And I promise you, the Bible says that you will heap rewards up for yourselves by doing these good deeds. Do good work for the kingdom with your extra money. That's going to be much more rewarding than anything because the Bible tells us to be content with food and clothing. Food and clothing. It doesn't even mention shelter. Food and clothing. Be content with that because you can eat and you can walk around, you know, not causing people to sin by looking at your naked body. What better What better than, than having your needs met? The Bible also says that the sparrows have all the food they need and the lilies in the valley get all the sun they need. They're not worried about it. So I really uh, encourage you guys to check your heart posture. This was uh, uh, this Bible verse this morning really spoke to me. Um, and it's always good to get a, a reality check, to realign your heart with the, uh, the will of God, with God's will for your lives. And just to deny yourself the fleshly desires and just chase after the kingdom minded thing. So uh, I'm going to pray for us real quick before we go. And I just pray that this uh, message has blessed you. So Father God, Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity to wake up and live another day, Lord, to be used by you for your glory, to give you all the honor and the praise, Lord. I know that the Bible tells us that the love of money is leads to all kinds of evil, Lord. Help myself and the ones on the other side of the screen to desire to serve you more than they desire to earn a living. I know that earning a living is a requirement, God. We all must do it. But I just pray that our hearts are aligned with you more than earning a nice, gigantic check. Now, while there's nothing wrong with that, the desire to chase after money is where the sin comes in. So help us to live a life, Lord, that is just more in line with just loving you blessing others with the abundance that we have lord god and being responsible not being greedy not buying fancy cars and fancy watches and really expensive clothes just for no reason except uh, besides to flex help us to not be worldly lord help us to be saints help us to be godly people that chase after you and do what you would have us do lord and it's in your mighty name we pray amen so yeah guys i really pray that um you know, like I said, man, there's nothing wrong with having the wealth, right? But if it's all you're worried about to where you'll do some shady, scandalous stuff to get it, you probably need to, uh, well, I'm not going to say probably, you do need to repent. You need to you need to turn away from that sin. Uh, earn a living. Just don't be egregious with it. Don't be rude with it. Don't be haughty. Don't be, you know, extra for real, guys. Uh, analyze your heart posture. So that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, God bless.